What's going on guys? It's Sam the Raid Man. Today we are filming a Hydra video. We've got a new Hydra team. It's time to push. I've got a mission to do 20 million, which obviously we're going to crush. Um, but it is also time to go big on Hydra, according to the clan leader. So, I've got a new team that I've been building. So my previous team has been this one right here. Michinaki, Supreme Gaelic, Husk, Krisk, Shemail, and Siffy. And I've tweaked that team and changed that team and I've got some new champions. And this is the most newest iteration of this. This is the Ninja and Mikage team. I have a plus three Ninja who's built pretty well. I will show you the builds. Uh, I have Mikage and I recently pulled Cardiel on my most recent Void Shard pull. So I'm very excited to use him. I have Feral who I'm very excited for, Eastrid, and Krisk. Let me go ahead and show you the builds of each of those champions. For Ninja, I have him in six piece Merciless. I don't have the accessories for nine piece yet, but I want that, that's the goal. His total stats, I don't have a ton of bonuses, but in Hydra, 49,000 HP, 8,100 attack, which is a lot, it's not crazy. Um, bigger Blessing could help, but really it's just the, the limitation of the Merciless gear. 3,400 defense, 209 speed, full crit rate, 286 crit damage, pretty good. 312 resistance is solid, especially because I didn't really go for it. 266 accuracy is solid as well. And then obviously we have the 6% ignore defense from that, 35% ignore defense from the um, set, and then we have Helm's Mesher as well, trying to ignore more defense. So that's the goal, as much damage. Obviously he's stacking stuff over time. Next up we have Krisk. I thought about rebuilding Krisk, maybe in a hex set or um, provoke set or something like that, but right now I think he's solid in this. He's just very fast, pretty tanky, and he's got high resistance. 502 resist, 429 accuracy, 295 speed, uh, 55k HP, 4800 defense, and actually full, almost full crit rate, which is good. Definitely did not build him for crit damage. We have defense, defense, resistance, um, but the crit rate doesn't hurt because he does have two AoEs. Eostrid is in our hex set. Um, she's actually had a really good build. She's got a four-piece Merciless, so she's got a chance to reset her abilities. And 273 speed, 4,000 defense, 3,400 attack, no crit rate, 252 resistance, 345 accuracy. So just going fast, resetting her skills, boosting turn meter. She does a little heal because we removed Siffy. So we have no healer and no reviver. So this heal right here on the turn meter boost, whenever you, whenever you turn meter boost, you get heals. That is pretty helpful. Feral, I would like to build a protection set eventually, but I don't have the gear for that, so he is in four-piece Merciless as well. Um, he's like slightly built in damage, like he's got some crit rate, but really he's just survivability, defense, HP, resistance, and accuracy. Um, but obviously his kit is really the, the star of the show here. I did just get a blessing on him, so now i got one star cruelty. Um, but it's all about the passive for him, enabling ninja's damage and everyone else's damage. And then Cardiel is built, again, everyone's kind of crit cap pretty much, 145 crit damage, 55,000 HP, low attack, solid defense, 304 speed is fast, and he is in a nine piece protection set, which is big, because that means whenever he is buffing on either of these abilities, uh, we're doing more damage per buff. So that's pretty big. And then lastly up, we have Mikage, again, would like a protection set, but just don't have the gear for it, working on getting the accessories. Um, she is my Fire Knight build for her, so it's not really any damage, it's just really fast. So 318 speed, 76k HP, which is a ton. You get a ton from the Blessing. Uh, solid attack, low defense, but that's okay. And then pretty solid resistance, 307 accuracy. So nothing is like crazy. I think they're all good builds across the board, but I don't think anyone is in a crazy build by any means. Ninja is probably the closest and... If you look at some of the actual, you know, in-game streamers and people setting records, theirs have over 10k attack and mine only has 8,000. Now, one thing that is an issue with this team is we do not have a, a great way to deal with the Head of Torment. The best way is with Feral, but even he is not amazing at it. So there's definitely a few uh, kind of trial and error things. For example, like Chris puts the fear on himself right there. So typically I cleanse it because I need to make sure that he gets the provoke off here which he got resisted because <laughs> that's how it goes when you pull the camera out this happens i did this uh, last week just to test it and i got over 300 million damage um but i had we were tanking last week so i had to go and and scale that damage back so 
this will be the first like true extent of how much damage can we do. We also just finished doing masteries for Cardiol, or we at least got him down to War Master, which he didn't have before. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll place Block Boss first. And then soon we need to get our Veil up. Now everyone's cleansed. We got our Provoke off. We're just going to start doing damage. Eventually we're going to head over here. We got the extension, which is big. Having two buff extenders is very, very helpful. Um, obviously, one issue with this team is the hex. The only hex we have is the hex set from Eostrid. So if that ever falls off, we are in trouble. And we're just the head of uh, mischief can be pretty nasty with that. The good news is with our builds having some resistance and stuff, and then all of these buffs with uh, Fearless passive. It is rare that you will see us take a debuff. It happens, but it is very, very rare. It's very rare that you see, obviously besides fear, it's very rare that you see any buffs being stolen or turn meter being stolen. It's typically pretty, um, pretty, pretty safe that way, which is very cool. So we only have one provoker, no other pro sets. And the only hex, we don't have a hexer, we just have the one hex set. So that's it. Um, our only block buffs is Fural, which he does a solid job of it, just depending on affinity. And then we don't have a great way to deal with this head, but at a certain point, we'll start nuking with Ninja. His damage will really start ramping up and we will start knocking that head down quicker and quicker. So this should be a pretty long run, assuming that things go well. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I do still manual all of my runs. I know I get a lot of criticism for that, but that's I want good results. And that's the only way I've been able to get good results. I've never had great luck building auto teams. So gonna go ahead and uh, take this to the end. And as long as it's a good result, I will see you guys then. Okay, gonna come back in here. We have reached turn count 1400. And as you guys can see by the score, we have obliterated my previous record. I mean, my previous record, I think we've, we've well over doubled it. I think it was like 356 million or something. I can find the thumbnail of that one video. I and mean, we've just crushed it. We've blown it out of the water. And I think there's multiple reasons for that, which we'll kind of get into in a minute. Um, Definitely not perfect, right? Like there's definitely better gearing we could do and this team could be better, but um, I think this is clearly the right direction to go. I think Ninja is proving himself as one of the top three damage doers for Hydra in the game. Um, I mean, this is nuts. I know people with way better accounts that are not producing these kind of results and Ninja is the key to it. And obviously like there's lots of great pairings in here. You know, for example, Makage and makes Ninja so much better Cardio is making Ninja better. Feral is making Ninja better. Like we have a very good team around him, but the damage is not even going to be close. My projection. So we're going to finish with, I don't know, 770,000, 770 million or something like that. I don't think we'll quite get to 800 million, um, which would be cool. But I think that of that, let's say 800 million is our final number. I think Ninja is going to do 500, 550 in that ballpark for sure. Um, he's just carrying his, his a one is doing two point something million damage almost every single time he attacks, which is crazy. And he's attacking. We have three ally attacks basically. So we have Makage's a one, which this one doesn't have decreased defense or weekend, but it's still 986,000. Um, boom, 958. We have Makage's a one, Makage's a three and Cardio's a three. So we have three ally attacks in which Ninja is attacking. Now, one thing that I did get a comment on one of my previous videos was, hey, you shouldn't be using um, Makage's A2 so much, which is the buff extension for us and decrease for enemies, um, because it's just a kind of a waste of attack versus if you just use the A1, then you'll get a Ninja A1 in there as well. And I was like, oh, that's silly, but there's so much value in Makage's A2. And there is situationally, but almost always, us just forcing out two more million damage plus the hex spread from ninjas a1 is almost always better so like right here we have all these buffs we can extend but we don't really need to and i think it'd be much better to just a1 and then boom 2.5 million plus 250,000 over there and then we decapitated the head so like i think that the a1 is almost always the way to go for makage i think that the best one of the best use cases that i've been using it for is to decrease buff duration so for example head of wrath kept getting his buffs so i would just decrease the duration of those buffs with makages and obviously we have lots of buffs for us to increase the duration of so it definitely doesn't hurt 
But we don't really, I used to use it as a cleanse, but now that I have cardio on the team, I don't feel like I need the cleanse as much as I used to. So that's also one of the things that's gone out the window. We might get close to 800. Just depends on how many ninja smacks we can get. If we can get all the hexes out there. I don't know. We, right now we don't have any hex. So that was a sad ally attack, actually. I do like that head. Head of mischief. As long as we can get hex on him, he becomes very easy. Like two, three hits from uh, ninja knocks him down. And obviously, when you kill that head, he decreases the turn meter of all the other heads, which is super helpful. Would have liked to ally attack there, but we're just taking the damage we can get. We have 24 more turns, including the clan boss's hits. All right, we've lost somebody. It's feral. This can A1 with ninja. We're going to provoke. I'm debating if we need to or not, since the run's about to be over, but I would rather not risk losing debuffs. Especially because we're going to be putting more debuffs out there like that decreased speed. There's another A1. We should get him back. Maybe we can kill over here and just get squeeze a little extra damage away. 680,000. Um, predictions before this ends. Obviously, we're going to get just under 800 million. Um, Ninja, 500-ish, if not more, million damage. I think Eastra is actually going to be in second with like 100 and something because she is the curse set. So she is the one who's placing that uh, hex, and then she's getting credited for all that splash damage. So I think she'll be up there. Come on. One more ninja hit. One more ninja hit. Here we go. 800 million damage. That is a new record. All right. About to be over. Um, and we'll get a ninja A1, too. Very cool. Um, so yeah, 800 something million. I'm thinking most of it will be ninja. Then Eastra, then Cardio. And the reason I think Cardio is going to do so much damage is I don't even remember what part of his kit, but it's his passive that lets him just A1 randomly when you're attacking. So he just joins in on attacks. And he does it so much. I feel like he attacked the Hydra heads so often. And he does have crit rate. He's only doing like 70 to 80. To, I mean, like to capture the head with debuffs, maybe like 150, 200,000. But it was just so often. I think he is going to be in third. Um, and then I think near the bottom, Mikage, Krisk, Feral. Um they're all going to be down there. They all have Warmaster. I think most of them are, these two are at least crit cap. So probably Krisk, then Feral, then Mikage would be my guess. But we'll find out. So let's get a last A1 in here. Sneaky 1.2 million. 801.92. All right. I was a little off. Ninja 450 million, which is bonkers. ES did almost 200 million, which is crazy. It was cardio in third, but these last four are very close. This is right under 30 million and right over 50 million. So that's pretty close in the grand scheme of things. Like Makage is closer to cardio than cardio is to Eastrid. So really it's Ninja, Eastrid, and then the last four right down here at the bottom. Um, the crazy thing is, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to bring in cardio, look at that healing. 12 million in heals. Eastrid is good heals, but I knew she wouldn't be enough. He's doing three times almost what she is doing. Chris, because that's all healing himself. Ninja, that's also healing himself. But like, that's crazy. 12 million heals, 51 million damage with no blessing. I really want, um, I guess I don't need it because I just reached a turn count limit but maybe to reduce some of the luck that we had to have, or if we're trying to auto teams in the future, I want to get Miracle Heal on Cardio because he is healing basically every turn. Unless he's buffing uh, and just doing like the revive on death. If he's ally attacking, he A1s and then heals. If he's joining in an ally attack on somebody else, he heals. And if he's just using his A1 randomly, he heals. So like he's healing all the time, so that would be helpful. Um, Ninja 450. At some point, I do want to kind of regear him to like the best gear on my account, like above Seer, above Harima, above any one of my other nukers, um, and just see what we can do, because that's crazy. Yes, he is plus three, but he only has a three-star blessing, so it can be better. If we get him to a six-star crushing rend, I think we can get to a billion. I don't think this team is that far off from a billion. I think um, a blessing on cardio helps. I think maybe tweaking some builds around um, could help. I like the protection set a lot on Cardio. Obviously, I'm keeping this, by the way. This is a new record for me. I should have screenshot it, but that's okay. I'll clip the video. Um, new record for me. And like I said, I think the record's like 356 million. 
So this is, I mean, I don't care how long the game takes to load as long as it actually loads it. There we go. Nightmare, that is the number one in the team. We're beating out the Lizard Fellows over here. We're beating out Varl the Destroyers. I mean, that is bonkers. I'm going to pull up my YouTube and see the, what the record was. Ignore that. <laughs> I pulled up my YouTube video to see what the record was for that. Um, I did go through all the builds. I know that's an issue that sometimes I don't do. It's really all about the ninja build. I know I did just get one merciless accessory. I don't know if it's good or not. It's ah, that is good actually. Or that could be good. We don't have any attack on it, but all right. Let me. I've got the video pulled up over here. Yeah. So my record just now was. Let's pull it back up. This is crazy. I mean, there's going to be a fun side by side. We got to pull up this key. 801.92 million. My previous record, 359.15 million. Ninja did 163 in that one. He did 449 in this one. Feral 18 to 27. Not much of a difference. Michinaki did 134. Easter did more. <laughs> Chris, 23 to 41. Mikage, 11 to 29. Siffy did six, obviously. And then Cardiel did 51. So that was a big... Basically removing some of the support to add more damage. Like everyone contributed damage-wise. Like Cardiel and Mikage are doing the ally attacks. Chris, I guess, didn't. Chris is pretty much like almost strictly support. But he does have three-star cruelty, which stacks with Firo's one-star cruelty to like get up there quicker and that does make a difference like especially in a when you're taking 1500 turns that starts to stack up plus more master procs and obviously tons of support decreased speed uh ally you know ally protection increased buff duration he's mischief tanking so like he does a ton he'd be very difficult to replace but i do think he'd be the next one out eastrid i feel like is just so good for hydra like yes nekmothar is slightly better but not a ton she does increase attack, which I guess Mikage does. Increase speed, which Nekmo does. Decrease speed, which Nekmo does. Decrease or weaken, which Nekmo does not, is one of them. And obviously the curse set, which we could put Nekmo in. We don't have Nekmo. I'm just theorizing what is the way that I can reach a billion damage. That's my thought process right now, because that's the next step. We're going to get a billion damage in Hydra without Trunda, and we're going to put it on a t-shirt. That's my goal. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, this was a long video, obviously. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. I've been getting a lot of really nice messages and comments from you guys, so I do appreciate that. But if you subscribe to the channel and you like the video, that's by far the most helpful thing you can do. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all on the next one.